Okay, this, as you can see, is Hand of Fate. Uh, it's a game I've wondered for a while. I think it came out in February. It's uh, 19 quid. And uh, I couldn't really justify spending that much money on it for the amount of time I'd probably actually spend playing on it at that point. Let's just uh, turn the volumes down a bit. That'll do. But in the recent Steam Steam sale, it was half price, so uh, nine pound fifty. So I uh, snapped it up. I don't know that turn of volume down really made any difference, did it? Let's try it again. Now, unfortunately, yeah, maybe a bit. Unfortunately, it has. Uh, suffered some bugs recently. They've had a free update uh, of a lot of additional content and they also updated the Unity runtime they were using at that time and that had a number of bugs to do with uh, Linux, also some bugs on all platforms I think uh, to do with lighting and stuff like that. But uh, it seems to be working again now so let's just uh, play it for a bit and have a look. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rat? So, I'm playing in story mode, which means there's a sequence of challenges. I've unlocked uh, the top row there and got to the goblet. So now I'm into a much harder uh, level sort of thing. So probably I will fail embarrassingly at this point. So, the way it works is um, you're trying to... Uh, defeat a deck of cards basically, it's, it's like a deck building game, uh, so you pick up additional cards, you win more cards, they get added to the deck and then the next time you play a round of, of cards these, these things can drop out for you, so you gradually get better gear dealt into your deck and then it's the look of the draw whether they come out or not. So, uh, there's a curse for this defeating this Jack of the Plague and there's uh, some challenges so they ah, will probably come up. The rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and writhe. So you go into the deck builder and uh, so you can pick your own cards to get, you know, exactly what you want. Now, I've never done that yet. I don't know enough about the game to really, really pick up on that sort of thing so I just do the recommended equipment on the counter deck and, uh, and it selects stuff for me you can see I've only unlocked you know less about a fifth maybe of all the cards now what I'm not sure about is all right so this is these are the cards that in the deck right I understand so you see I've got weapons and I've got armor and these will get dealt randomly to me so anyway that's uh, what do I do now oh no start game there we go that's what we our want. lord of plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune so those are the cards we will encounter the dealer now deals them out. And you see I'm starting off with uh, 20 food, no gold, and um, 100 health. So, you select the card you're going to uncover next. Uh, Often times there will only be one choice, but there are, there are scenarios where there's more than one choice. Yeah, I'm Mr. starting Lionel. to wonder if you're simply leaving this card in as a quick way to get your hands on a shield. Well, that seems like a good plan to me. So some of these cards are encounters, like story encounters like this. I 
will not got 20 gold obviously so I'll ask him what he needs and he usually always does the same thing and he'll give me something and we're going to explore his helmet which reveals the stairs which would be no great surprise on this this level because it'll be that last card there so I've got a helmet Ooh, we made him. So she will bless me with something. Yeah, that's to be blessed. Let's try that. Useful. Cool. So I have a blessing that somebody will... Uh, that I can use in the next battle. Alright, so this is the first uh, actual 3D portion of the game. I'm going to enter the game, into the cave, and see if I can remember the controls. So the, the controls are um, very Arkham Knight-like in general. So you might my car is being dealt. So I can roll with the A button and I can I can axe with the X button. Now I'm suspicious of those leaves. Nothing bad happened. This looks like a trap. And this oh sneaky. I see, so there were things in the leaves. I was correct to be suspicious. Oh dear. So we the poison darts. Let's go the right way around the things this time. Ah, watch out for the leaves. Uh, I was trying to watch out for the leaves and I still didn't make it. See, my health's down to 70 now. But if we get carefully through this thing... It would help if I didn't keep swinging the axe instead of... Uh, instead of dodging. Right, so there's the chest at the end. Doesn't look like there's any good way of avoiding any of these traps, so let's just go for it. There we go. So I've won some treasure. Three game cards. I've drawn some equipment. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Excellent. Yes, let's equip the Chains of Rage. As you. Ooh, an armory. Consuming shame. This alchemist could have turned his mind to the creation of gold or wonderful substances to better mankind, but instead settled for crafting vile poisons. Disgraceful. Anyway, it looks like um, we can now poison everybody. Oh, more armor. Draw three. Select one to keep. Let's have a look. Oh, the desperate measures I think is a pretty effective weapon. Yes. Prepare for Inflicts bad times. More damage. Savor the good. The lower the health is. And since my health is already down at seventy, probably pretty good for me. So let's equip desperate measures. And this will be the way out of this level. Well, it's better than trudging along a muddy road, certainly. So now he'll deal out some more cards, which will uh, basically be you know, the next level of the dungeon. See, this time there's a choice, and then there's the way out, so I can choose to proceed as fast as possible. Each of the these way cards out. is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. Thank you for that. 
So I'm going to try and find a combat card. There are some um, some things you can pick up where you get a bonus for uh, uncovering all the cards on a level. I don't think I've got any of those items yet. You see my health recovers with each move. I'm at 76 again now. Oh, here's a shot. I've not really got much gold though, so that's, there might not be anything we can buy. But we'll have a we'll check it out. You never know. Let's see. Buy items. Hour of cold, can't afford it. Nursery contract. Yeah, so I can afford that. I can afford the ring. I can probably afford. To, I can probably sell some stuff. What have I equipped? That, 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 and the helmet. Let's sell that axe. All three dollars. Let's um, let's see, ten dollars for fifteen health. Let's go back and buy the ring first. Wealth and health, a recipe for a happy life. I doubt things will end that way, mind you. All right, so I can't afford the four. Oh, that's by the ten health, though. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. Yes, yes. Yes, let's leave the shop. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncover the two of the cars in this level just to see if we can find some combat so you can see what that's like before I uh, wrap up the video. Ooh, goblins. Funny little fellows. So they're going to steal my gold, which isn't that big of a deal, to be honest with you. Since I've not got much left. They've stolen some of my equipment. So now I have to fight them. I'm not sure which bit of equipment I've stolen. But we'll see. Not the helmet, not the axe. Ah, it looks like they've stolen my. Uh... Missed him. He's going to escape after a certain amount of time. Oh, he's escaping. Where's the other one gone? Ah, I missed him. So one of them escaped with some stuff. I suspect. That wasn't a great example of the combat, to be honest. Let's uh, check you one of the your cards here. Alright, so I don't think I've lost, I've lost anything. Let's see if there's any combat here. It lives in every game. That initial moment where things begin. I have right. worked on these cards all my days. And the canyon has been there from the outset. So I can see a weapon glinting in the sunlight. So this is this is one of the games of chance kind of cards. You can see I've basically got a 75% chance of getting the weapon. A choice. Select your desire. Success. If 
far I can tell it's random, I've not been able to spot any pattern on the cards. Let's draw a weapon card and see what I get. Huge hammer. Cool. Let's equip that then, shall we? And let's see what it's like. Alright, so we'll carry on to the next level. So I've still not had any Roaming combat. Roaming ever forward. Hunting for the truth. Apart from the goblins, which don't fight back. And again, the way out is uh, easily predictable from the layout. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Ambush. Right, so here we'll get some combat. Two monster cards. Five enemies. You know, one of them is going to get nuked, so that will make life easier. But now we'll get to cease combat, which, you know, I'm not particularly brilliant at. It's uh, in the style of uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, the combat. So it's, it's more to do with timing and uh, anticipation than, than anything else. As you can see, oh, I'm missing. Oh, I didn't get the block in. Maybe I can't block him. So that wasn't particularly brilliant. It's possible I need a shield to do the blocking. Uh, he's only pretending to be dead. Again, we get a 75% chance. Ah, uh, well. I suspect this will be combat as well, since we've not had any so far. Ooh, angry mob. What do they do then? So quick to anger. That's what makes them a mob, really. Alright, so I assume... I give them half my food. I've already been to the shops, I can't buy more food, so I'll start starving. I assume that Try to Avoid the Crayon will be one of, another one of those uh, card games. Let's do that. There we go. 50-50. 50-50. Ah, oh, well. Five pain cards. Nasty. Not really that important. Not really that important. Better than losing half my food. Okay. How unpleasant. Not a good encounter. And another one. Once the ratmen begin to creep towards the edge of the town, anger follows shortly behind. Let's try to avoid the crowd again. It's got to be a 50-50 chance. There we go. Seeking the heart of it all. Ah, oh, so it's not we're not even at the bus fight yet. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. All right. Greed. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? So it's four skeletons. Huge success and failure. Excellent. 
you may see my pattern. There we go. So I've taken one of them down. And one of them will get newt. So this should be fairly straightforward, I would have thought. Let's try and see. traps. Hey, this hammer's pretty good, eh? Look at that. Three game cards. One equipment. Let's see. Fleet crook. Faster Fleet is cuts. always better. I might as well give it up half a feed then. 15 health. And now at my max health, which is now 85. Let's see what the Tinker has to offer us. I could really do with a shield. Final items. What have we got? Healing cat, angel wings. A shield for the marathon, not the sprint. Okay, that'll do me for now. So now with the shield I should be able to do blocks. If we can find a bit more combat. Or I should be capable of whether I can actually achieve them or not. Who can say? When the tide turns, anger rises. Anger without form or direction. These angry peasants. Let's see. Let's give them food this time. So I'm hoping now, because you use food every time you move. An expedition. Press on. So, as long as I've not got six cars left, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Another set of stairs. At so I will need to find some more food at some point. All games are about power, are they not? The acquiring of power. The retaining of power. And most importantly, the use of power. Let's see what the helpful people do. Uh, 12 gold for 3 feeds. Treasure chest. A treasure one. chest. What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? Let's approach the treasure chest. Oh, okay. 50-50. Let's see what happens. Success! Let us stake a token on their foolishness. Okay, that's the temp prior open. 75% chance. Choose from these options. Success! Gold, good. More gold, good. More gold. And apparently there was quite a lot of gold well in that chest. And I get a token, which will... I don't know if I can really carry on that long. It's already been 20 minutes. But the tokens you unlock at the end of the game. Now you begin to trespass upon the Ratmen's hunting grounds. Four of Plague, or I presume of the rats. So let's see if I can uh, get the timing right for the uh, blocking of things now.
plague by name and plague by nature. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. No. No, I didn't get the blocking right at all. I think it's when the green stuff appears above the heads, you're supposed to press Y. But that either I timed it very badly. Either I timed it very badly or uh, travelling mage. Right. Let's see what he can do for me. Yeah, so either I timed it very badly or I pressed the wrong button. Like I said, I'm not really good at this sort of thing. You know, games. Buy items. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Alright, let's buy the dragon ring. In its potential, the most powerful artifact I've ever seen. Now, I don't know if you can can I equip more than one ring at a time? Oh apparently so. Cool, so it's all equipped. That's um Might as well buy some food I suppose. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Leave the shop. Head downwards if you dare. Okay. So let's just see how many cards there are to get to the boss fight. It's already been a plenty long Hush. video. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? So this is interesting. Not a shape I've seen before. Travelling healer. I think you can improve my max health. Yes, let's leave the shop. A winding these trail. trails wind, and our goals wind with them. My voice and these words draw us closer to the inevitable conclusion. Let's attack the cowardly band. Gear assembled. There we go. So, as you can see, I'm not really that good at timing the blocks. It does have a slightly annoying habit of, uh, of attacking guys that are on the ground rather than. No, I'm not going really? to the axe. Is that what you're going to do? Yes, it really is. Oh, bandit attack. Bandits, eh? 
Make an enemy of one, and you've made an enemy of all. One can't help but admire their single-mindedness. So again, this should be fairly straightforward, given one of them is going to get um, taken out by my uh, lightning thing. There we find the boss. There he is. He awaits plague and pestilence and blood and teeth. So he encourages the people around him to fight stronger and faster the more damage you do to him. So that implies I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you we have should what it takes. Take out his minions first. Whether I'll be able to manage that, who can say? Being it's rats, there should be quite a lot of minions, you would have thought. Right, so there's the boss man. There's the minions. Now I wonder who will get taken out if I run towards the boss man first. Poisonous thing to me. Did him. Victory! So there you go. A longer video than I really intended. Queens and kings it took so long to get to any combat. Lost the child here today. But now you'll get to see what happens as you complete a uh, for slaughter. Your reward. As you complete a quest. Two armory. Fool's gold. Berserker armor. So these things that get shuffled into your deck. And uh, the next the next set of you know the next encounter you do, they'll be in your in your deck with the possibility of you um, getting them in. Come play. I do not oh, so want we to just sit here. We're back at the start. So Look at the cards you have earned. That was half an hour. Now we have I'm enough. Really to only a real ten thing. minutes. Uh, but you've seen a full playthrough of, of one, one, uh, you know, one boss, and that was the fourth one. And there are at least another six or eight. So you can see it's actually uh, it's quite a lot to the game. As so you get further into it, more complicated cards get revealed, and you know they have they interact with each other in interesting ways. It's uh, the combat is actually quite fun if you can get the hang of it. I didn't do very well with it today. 
just wasn't getting the blocking at all, but never mind. Uh, yeah, it's overall excellent game. Uh, I'm very happy with it for you know less than a tenner. Whether it's worth the, the 19 quid is up to you, uh, but definitely worth checking out.